Hi, welcome to Coding Blitz Basic, having a platform game. Uh, this is a preview of part five. Uh, it's not the full part five, there's a few more bits I want to do before I make it available for download again uh, in its current version. But I've done a few things this evening and I'm kind of excited about them. Just for all you who think that maybe I'm not going to do an update again soon or because it's been so long since I last did one, I thought I'd put this on just to let you see that I am actually doing something. So, if I just quickly show you the map editor the changes I've made to that, or at least I would do if it works. Give me one second. Just gonna make it work. Okay. So the map editor now has a mini map on it. You can see there the map. Shows where the tiles are and where any collision tiles are. Uh, there's also a grid on the map now. It's much easier to uh, to see where where you're placing tiles, and you can also place a finish point on the map as well. Place my finish point, which leads me on to the next big thing, which is in the main game. If I just just this slightly, okay, go to the main game. You've got. I just go to the end of the level. This is something I keep getting messaged about. Uh, I didn't know how tricky it was going to be. I've made it do it, it's not too hard, it means I've had to change a lot of the code around, but hey, that's a program. Um, let's go to the end of the level. And go to the finish line. Don't fall out the level. Go to the finish line, and when I press up, it loads a new level. And on level two. So this is the start of um, of having multiple levels in the game. At the moment, all it does is it just loads level 2. That's it. If I went to the end of this level and pressed up again, it would just restart this level. Because all it will do is it will, try, it will set the level name to 2 and load that, wherever that might be. I might have broken it now anyway. Uh, that's it. If I just look at my task list, I'm just going to see if there's anything else I've missed. Uh, added start and end points, added mini map, uh, load new level. The level done. Uh, I fixed a bug on the level editor as well. When clearing when clearing the level, uh, it didn't delete the enemies. It now does. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. That's all I've done really. Just this evening. So that's why it's not a full video. But checking again in probably a week or two. Because um, after the end of this week, I'm basically not going to be doing my job my full time job for the next three weeks so I've got plenty of time and not much else to do um, besides just work on this game so you should see a lot of progress in the next couple of weeks okay see you later oh and um, if you're looking for something to play in the meantime there's this game that I've kind of discovered on Steam it's called uh, World of Goo I'm going to stick a mini review on the end of the video here just to show you it, because it's awesome. It's one of these physics um, type games. I've just got the demo on here, I'll probably buy it quite soon. But if you ever like Lemmings or any game like that, this is just brilliant. So if we just wait for this thing to load up. Okay, come on. Alright, good. See, I've not, I've not got many games there. Uh, Installed on my Steam at the moment. You probably can't hear the music, but it's cool. So everything's just controlled with um, this like black blob that you move around. You have these blocks, these blobs, and you have to get them into the pipe there. Just by dragging them to build little structures, and in the end, they all get sucked up into the pipe. And that's basically it. And it's where you get different types of goo. Um, it's, it's on Steam now. Check it out. There's a free demo. It's really cool. So I'm going to quit out. 
And that's it from me.